Have you ever tried organizing a party on your own? You're buying the food, setting up the decorations, organizing the games, DJing the music, and cleaning up afterwards. By the end, you're too stressed to enjoy the party. That's your code without inversion of control. Every part of your application is micromanaging its dependencies. Who needs what, how to get it, and how to set it up. It's chaos. IOC is like hiring a party planner. You just give them the big picture, I want a birthday party with a taco bar, and they handle the details. They manage the catering, the decorations, the playlist, you show up and it's done. Today we're going to talk about how IOC takes your messy code, transforms it into something clean and manageable, it makes you the guest of honor at your application's big debut. At first glance, Inversion of Control sounds like the title of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually a programming principle that powers many of the framework you already use, like Spring, Angular, and even React hooks. Here's the big idea. IOC flips the usual script of how objects in your application interact. Instead of objects going out to fetch their dependencies, IOC arranges for those dependencies to be delivered to them. Think of it like a pizza delivery service. Normally, if you're hungry, you'd have to get in your car, drive to a pizza place, and pick up the food yourself. IOC says, nah, stay where you are. I'll have the pizza brought to you. Convenient, right? But how does that work in your code? Let's break it down. Imagine you're building a food delivery app. Without IOC, every service has to go find and create its own dependencies. For example, it's like you're the chef, the driver, and the cashier all at once. Not only is it exhausting, but every time the process changes, like swapping out a payment service for a new version, you've got to go back and rewrite your code. With IOC, it's a completely different story. Now, the IOC container, think of it like a super organized kitchen manager, handles creating and delivering payment service. Your order service just uses it. The magic of IOC often happens through dependency injection. It's like when you're dining at a restaurant, you don't cook the food yourself. A waiter brings you exactly what you ordered and you just focus on enjoying the meal. Dependency injection works the same way. Instead of creating objects manually, your IOC container prepares everything behind the scenes and serves it to your code on a silver platter. Why is that awesome? You want to switch from a pizza oven to a barbecue grill? No problem. IOC makes it easy to swap components without rewriting the entire menu. As your restaurant or app grows, IOC ensures that the kitchen stays efficient and organized, even with new chefs, recipes, or tools. Got a new chef? Just update the IOC container. You don't need to explain the entire cooking process to every waiter. IOC isn't just about saving time. It's about liberating your brain. Instead of worrying about how to get the tools you need, you focus on what you're building. This approach ties directly into the solid principles, especially the dependency inversion principle. If you've never explored solid before, check out our video. It's packed with examples that tie beautifully into today's topic. IOC doesn't just make your code cleaner, it helps you avoid code smells like shotgun surgery. Without IOC, small changes to one dependency could send ripples through your code base, forcing updates everywhere. Sound familiar? We've covered this in detail in our video on shotgun surgery. Don't miss it. IOC often uses patterns like factory and singleton to handle dependency creation behind the scenes. If you're new to those design patterns, don't worry. We've got a full video breaking down software design patterns that'll make these concepts click. Thinking of refactoring your code to adopt IOC principles? It's a fantastic move for long-term scalability and maintainability. But when's the right time to refactor? We've covered that exact question in our video on refactoring strategies. Be sure to check it out for practical advice. At its core, inversion of a control is about working smarter, not harder. By letting a system handle the how, you can focus on the what. So whether you're building a food delivery app, a self-driving car system, or just experimenting with new frameworks, IOC is your ticket to cleaner, more scalable code.